next we see seven keys to deliverance seven keys every key is the word of God you cannot escape from the word of God you'll never be free without the word of God Paul the Apostle begins in Ephesians 6 10 by saying be strong in the Lord and the power of his might and begins to give us the most amazing uh, truth about deliverance God Almighty wants you to be so strong that no demon can penetrate your heart now you need to understand that demons are on earth in the billions if God should open your eyes you'll see demons everywhere and they're looking for bodies to inhabit I don't want to scare you but that's reality you have to be so strong in the Lord that there will be on your life a Holy Ghost sign that says no vacancy you gotta walk down the streets and the devils will say there's no vacancy here you're free and will continue to be free let me hear a big amen uh, your liberty your liberty is going to bring on your children's liberty the minute God sets you free he begins to set your family free that's when children begin watching God's power on your life and eventually they'll come into your liberty what happens to you will happen to your family that's guaranteed it may take a little time but it'll come all right now watch what he says verse 11 put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil now he is giving us here the keys for deliverance the wiles, the word wiles means the traps. When the minute the word of God begins to fill your life, the devil's plans, the devil's tricks, and the devil's traps cannot touch you. So he says, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil notice he says stand not fall and the word stand is the Greek resist that you may be able to resist this is extremely important that you understand resistance you put on the armor of God and you resist the devil now do not please hear this you will not be victorious you will not win if you trust the armor of God you'll only win if you trust the God of the armor do not put your trust in the armor of God put your trust in the God of the armor he is your source put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand to resist all the tricks and all the plans and all the traps called wiles it's an old English words an English word for tricks traps and and plans now you may be able to resist everything that devil will throw at you now the Bible says in 2nd Corinthians 10 4 that we are mighty through God he is the source of our victory mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds but look what it says in verse 12 this is key here for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places watch that you are fighting against five divisions of the satanic write them down please there are five divisions against you but don't be afraid you're stronger than all of them 
Five divisions. Number one, division number one are demon spirits. For it says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Not flesh and blood means demon spirits. Number two, we wrestle not against principalities. The word principalities is the Greek archas, A-R-C-H-A-S. It means chief rulers of the highest rank mentioned in Colossians 2.10. These are principalities, chief rulers in the demonic. Number three, we wrestle not against powers. The word powers is the Greek exousias, authorities, authorities that operate under these chief rulers to execute their will. Sergeants is the Greek word also. Number four, we wrestle not against the rulers of the darkness of this world. These are world rulers that operate under the spirit of darkness. These are men and women who are tools of Satan. That's why it says of this world. And then number five, we wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wicked spirits in the heavenlies, most likely fallen angels. And I believe that's what they are. The five divisions we wrestle against. These, there are five divisions in the satanic and five divisions in the angelic. Let me give you the angelic that's on your side. Write these down, please. On your side are seraphims, Isaiah chapter 6, cherubims, Ezekiel chapter 1, living creatures called Zoe or Zoas in, Re in Revelation 4, archangels, Gabriel and Michael, mighty, mighty, mighty angels. And number five, the angelic hosts of heaven, innumerable in numbers. We have five divisions of angels on our side. There's not a human being on this planet without something binding their life. We are promised total liberty. Benny Hinn has been sharing an extremely important series of messages from his recent fire conference in Oakland, California on how you can experience total liberty from bondage. Number one, be in covenant with God and the only way is through the blood of His Son. Make a covenant with blood. Make sure that you surrender to Christ Jesus, asking Him to wash you with His blood. That's the first key. The knowledge of God's Word is the beginning of your deliverance. If the Word of God is not in you, God has nothing to use to deliver you. See, God cannot help you unless you give Him the tools to work with. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand to resist all the tricks and all the plans and all the traps called wiles. It's an old English word, an English word for tricks, traps and, and plans. Now you may be able to resist everything that devil will throw at you. This is a teaching that is vital to your Christian life. And Pastor Benny dedicated two full sessions in the conference to examining in detail what the Bible has to say on this subject. 